Hello and welcome to Step Time. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some autumn and Halloween decor from some things I already had in my stash and some leaves I found outside. So if you're interested, then keep watching. All right, for our first home decor DIY, this one falls under the autumn hygge umbrella. Um, I went on a walk outside. There was just a big storm last night, so there were lots of fresh leaves on the ground. And I got all these leaves. And every year, I'm always going on walks, pocketing beautiful leaves. And I wanted a way to display that in my house. And I think it's really beautiful. And I'm going to paint Mod Podge onto each leaf, let it dry, and then we're gonna string it into a garland. You can also use spray acrylic to coat these. Basically, it just prevents them from browning. Um, but I'm gonna use Mod Podge today. So, yeah, we're gonna start by just coating each leaf in Mod Podge with a paintbrush. Got it? All right, let's do it. Let's start with this leaf, because this is probably my favorite one. It's the beautiful. Just gonna coat it. Just gonna try to get any excess off that I can. Then we're gonna turn it over and do it on the back side as well. The leaf is kind of fuzzy on the back. That's fun. All right, we have coated this lovely leaf. I'm gonna set it over here to dry with the uh, nice part facing up. And we're gonna do that for all of these guys. So I've got all of my leaves over here drying. Just a quick update. As your leaves are drying, as they start to become matte on the top, the back is probably not dry yet. So just make sure to flip those over as you see them start to dry on the top. That way they dry on the bottom too. Hello, and welcome to the ASMR portion of the show. We are going to be assembling our leaves that we mod podged yesterday. I love the sound of those leaves. Let's listen to this one. baker's twine it's a little less in your face you know now we are going to begin stringing our leaves onto this thank you for your help penny i'm using a pretty thick needle it's a big eye this project may require you to forcibly Move your cat from the scene. Stop it. All right. Got our baker's twine. Going to go in and under like this through the leaf. String it on. Just 
be gentle as the leaf can rip. As I mentioned before, the Mod Podge wasn't the best solution, I don't think, because they all kind of got curled, but it could have been that they weren't dry first. So next time I will try to dry them before stringing them. Okay, I'm letting Penny pick my next leaves, so I'm gonna put them in order. So artistic with your choices, Penny. your leaf garland you just want to cut the string however long you want it and then spread the leaves out evenly so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like DIY project number two. We are going to make some black construction paper bats that I'm gonna to use to decorate my bar cart area. You could also hang these from the ceiling or put them on a garland, but I'm going to put them kind of on some netting on a mirror. This is my inspiration photo. I downloaded this bat template from the faux Martha. I printed out one page at 100% size, which yielded me these kind of like small bats, but I knew that I wanted some larger ones, so I printed um, this page also out at 150%, and it got me a bat about this size. I'm gonna go ahead and trace these and cut these out, and I'll show you them styled. Really simple, yay. Oh, also, you can definitely cut these out with scissors. Um, but my nice husband offered me an X-Acto knife, so I'm going to use that. I'm gonna cut away from myself. This is your safety warning. Be careful. And I also have a self-healing mat under here already. This is what I use under my rotary cutter when I'm cutting out fabric, so it's a perfect surface for X-Acto knifing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and we'll see where we're at. I have cut out all of my bats and I'm going to style them above my bar cart. All right, for our DIY project number three, we will be painting this paper mache pumpkin I found at Target, really as an example to show you what you can do with decor pieces that you might thrift or have passed down that's like not really your style or not the right color, maybe has some designs on it that you don't really like. Um, and we are using a trick that is really hot on TikTok and YouTube where you take some acrylic paint and mix it with baking soda and it kind of has a really nice terracotta finish. It's about a one to one ratio of paint and baking soda. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so we're gonna do about a one to one ratio of our paint to our baking soda. I'm not gonna measure this, so this is not a scientific measurement, but I would definitely say start gradually and then Work your way up to a thicker consistency. 
it's starting to get to be a real nice consistency. But I'm probably gonna leave it here. I don't wanna get it so thick that it isn't easily paintable. So, with that being said, let's get to painting. I just kind of squinch it, if you will. Probably not the correct way, but is there a correct way? That's what I ask myself a lot, you know? Sure, there may be a technically correct way, but if it works, it works. Unless it's like dangerous, then there's probably a correct way. I might even um, do a second coat with like just this, cause this is, I mean, it's cute, but it looks kind of like, like a puke pumpkin. So I've got my lighter paint here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Oh no, I think it's too much. I did too much. In we go. We're gonna paint it. I'm nervous. Um, don't, be, don't be nervous. You're fine. This is crafting. You're supposed to enjoy it and it's okay if you gotta adjust as you go. Oh, that's really pretty. It'd be a good time if you wanted to, to go in with like a darker color and add some flair, make some like streaks in the creases. And I'm gonna go over it with my other brush. Look at how, we're just improvising. I didn't plan on doing this, okay? But I'm just gonna like take that brush and then do those long sweeping motions. That kind of blends in. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this dark paint that I just got out and go back in on the top. If you're watching this right now, comment below your favorite Halloween fall movie. I want to know. My favorite is Hocus Pocus for Halloween. Now we just gotta let it dry and I'll show you guys what it looks like styled in the space. Yay. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed these fall decor items. I'm speaking softly because it's like two in the morning. But if you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you wanna see more things like this. And comment below your favorite fall or Halloween movie because I'm curious, I need to brush up on my Halloween movie game. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that this brought joy to your day and I would love to see if you make any of these. So please tag me on Instagram or comment below. I love to hear. All right. Bye guys. Thumbnail. Check it out. Let's make sure audio is recording. Okay, cool. It is. Whew.